Welcome to our new Active Passive Trainer Riamoto LGT 5100P demonstration video. The device uses motorized mechanisms to provide controlled movement for upper and lower limbs. This allows the user to either actively engage and move their limbs or passively receive movement assistance from the device. It is used for people with mobility restrictions and wheelchair users to regain strength, flexibility, and mobility in their arms and legs. In this video, we will guide you through the setup and use of this device. Before using, some contraindications should be considered. First, let's take a closer look at this device. The 8-inch intuitive touchscreen interface makes it easy to operate and easy to monitor the training status. The screen is 270-degree rotatable and foldable, providing a more tailored and comfortable viewing experience. The training handle grip provides support for weak arms, preventing compensatory movements during training and ensuring effective treatment. The upper limbs training platform is 180 degree rotatable, allowing the safe and effective leg training. The calf support helps secure the calves in position and maintain proper alignment and stability during the exercise, reducing the risk of strain or injury during the exercises. The wheelchair fixture ensures stability and safety during the training sessions, allowing the wheelchair user to focus on their exercises without the risk of the device moving or causing instability to the wheelchair. The emergency stop button enables the immediate cessation of movement in case of any discomfort or unexpected situations. Rotate the button, you can reset the status. To accommodate every individual, the device allows the easy and quick height adjustment. With the built-in transport wheels, the trainer is easy to move from place to place. Riamoto LGT 5100P provides five training modes. For training modes for upper and lower limbs training, including active passive training, assistive training, symmetry training, and isokinetic training and a fine motor training mode for hand-eye coordination training. The active passive training helps users with no or reduced muscle force to improve strength and increase range of motion. In active passive training, the duration, resistance level, distance and speed can be customized to accommodate patients of different conditions and training goals. When exceeding the set speed, the device automatically switches from passive training to active training. The display provides real-time feedback, including distance covered, duration and speed, which helps the healthcare giver and the patient track the progress. If connecting a heart rate monitor, the device can also monitor the heart rate to improve safety and effectiveness. The assistive training is for users capable of pedaling, even weekly. It offers assistance to start and maintain the motion at the base speed of 5 revolutions per minute. In this mode, you can adjust the duration or distance, target muscle strength, and maximum speed. The device can detect the patient's muscle force. When the force is below the targeted muscle strength, the speed decreases. If the patient is capable of overcome the targeted muscle strength and keep an autonomous pedaling, the speed increases to the maximum. The device automatically switches from assistive training mode to active training mode to increase the muscle's work. The symmetry training is to improve the bilateral balance of muscle strength and enhance coordination of limbs. In this mode, you can set the duration and distance and set either the resistance level or power level. The device provides passive exercise at the base speed of 5 revolutions per minute. When exceeding the base speed, the device automatically switches to active training. The symmetry between right and left limbs is represented in a simple and intuitive way. Try to maintain the bike running in the middle. In isokinetic training, the speed of the movement remains constant throughout the entire range of motion. The duration, distance and speed can be customized according to different training goals. During the training, the device provides real-time muscle strength data. This form of training can help effectively improve muscle strength and endurance and is commonly used for rehabilitation, recovery, and testing muscle function. 
The fine motor training mode is used to measure and improve hand-eye coordination based on reaction time and accuracy. The use of the whack-a-mole game makes the training more enjoyable to improve patient engagement. Adjust the training difficulty level and the left and right ratio based on the patient's condition, then press the start button to begin the training. Press the pause button to pause the training. Press the stop button, the screen will display the training result. Now, let's walk through how to use the device for upper and lower limbs training. Connect the power cord and press the button to turn on the device. The device automatically enters the self-testing process to ensure the normal functioning. Move the patient to a proper distance from the device, lock the wheelchair brakes and securely attach the wheelchair to the trainer using anti-tip wheelchair hooks and straps. Make sure the wheelchair won't tip over during training. Adjust the height to accommodate the patient to make sure a comfortable training posture. Place the feet on the pedals and then fasten the straps. The height can be adjusted for a comfortable fit and better support. Then, set up a leg training program. Choose a training mode and set the training parameters according to different physical conditions or training goals. After setting the training parameters, press the start button to start training. The device provides bi-directional training, press the arrow icon, you can reverse the direction. During the training, the device can automatically detect the spasm and provide timely relief to ensure safe training. Press the pause button to pause the training. Press the stop button to finish the training and the screen displays the training result. This data can be analyzed to assess progress and customize the future training programs. You can save the program to the favorite list which allows you to quickly start the training next time. On the main page, press the Favorite List button to quickly access saved settings. Now, let's walk through how to use the device for arm training. Properly place the arms on the training handle grip and fasten the straps. Choose a training mode and set the training parameters according to different physical conditions or training goals. After setting the training parameters, press the start button to start training. The device provides bi-directional training, press the arrow icon, you can reverse the direction.
Press the pause button to pause the training. Press the stop button to finish the training and the screen displays the training result. Thank you for watching. For more information and inquiries, please visit our website or contact us.